The new challenges that we're facing actually for 2008 are really the challenges of success. Uh, it's rather remarkable in this overall economic climate that this, this particular industry and this technology is uh, growing as fast as it is and is as robust as it is uh, and that the demand is as high as it is for the technology across the board and particularly in some of the areas that it's uh, diversifying into. You're going to see more and more mission planning and coordination between various elements, uh, be they first responders or various military services, as this technology migrates into these areas. We're far away from doing a traditional platform simulations now. The platform simulations have gotten so good and they replicate, tech or re replicate reality uh, so, so well, so faithfully. Uh, that it's almost on a par with reality and of course you have all the other built-in advantages the simulation gives you as, as well as that. Uh, what we're looking at now is there are some areas of simulation technology and virtual reality that are catching up in various areas of high demand, for instance cultural interaction. Human-to-human -human interface is getting to be extremely important for the military, for first responders, and for others that have to operate in situations where they're dealing with foreign cultures, for instance, where they're dealing with an environment which, uh, in which people may be excited or afraid. Uh, these sorts of, uh, of demands are coming along very quickly. It's going to be a challenge for simulation technology to get into this human-to-human -human interaction area, but this is the way it's going. This is where the cutting-edge demand is today. While we still have to keep in mind that traditional applications and some of the other emerging applications are equally important and equally in demand. Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single-engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its detailed design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at CirrusDesign.com. We can't train people fast enough to operate UAVs. Uh, this is a new technology that's come along, as everyone knows, uh, just as matured in just the last several years. The demand is, is, is way over supply, both for the uh, vehicles themselves, but also for the training, which tends to lag somewhat behind the creation of the object itself for obvious reasons. Well, the economic situation for simulation uh, is, is very positive, and there's a very basic reason for that is it's great cost saver. We think it's about a 10 to 1 ratio between uh, training in simu a simulation environment and training in an actual live environment. And so there's a built-in advantage with simulation technology that uh, is being leveraged very greatly today for the reasons that you pointed out. Everyone's looking for increasingly uh, effective ways to save an increasingly large amount of money. And simulation technology answers that requirement in a unique way. You've heard of this thing called WAS, right? The Wide Area Augmentation System lets you fly GPS glide path approaches without relying on ground-based landing aids. No VOR, no ILS, no problem. Fact is, WAS is so smart, it even knows what you're going to say next time you need it. And don't have it on board. Wah, wah, I want my WAS now! I was really crying there for a second. This industry is looking for talented people. We are getting to a situation now demographically uh, where we have a great demand for the new generation of scientists, engineers, technicians. So we're hopeful that, that kids are going to think, look, I play PC games. It's really exciting. It's the way I spend part of my life. I want to get involved in this technology. I want to create the new simulation environment, uh, whether it be avatars, uh, whether it be holographic environments, which is the sort of area we're getting into. It's a very exciting future out there for uh, people who, who simply apply themselves to a certain extent. And there's a wide variety of talents that you, that you can uh, apply to this technology. You don't have to be a rocket scientist, so to speak, in, in order to participate in this whole sector. Well, there is no end in sight, and I should add that the, uh, the compensation structure for this industry is way above the average uh, of uh, American job force, of the American workforce. This is a very highly paid, very rewarding industry. And there is, as I say, great demand across the board for, uh, for talented young people.